The film projector starts, and you're launched on your scenic journey. Movie shows with sets of projectors, so-called projector clusters, give you the feeling of being right in the thick of the action. The same feeling you get with surround sound systems. Clusters make 3D effects and images on curved surfaces possible. This kind of impressive projection would be great for trade shows and presentations. Only the complex technology used is far too expensive, and so far arranging clusters of projectors has proved far too time-consuming. Researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute first in Berlin Adlershof have now come up with a simple and particularly rapid means of screening film on any shape or form of surface. In 2004, scientists at first presented a milestone in visualization technology: the digital 3D outside poster pillar or media round vehicle. Standard projectors on the inside use mirrors to project film. This was followed in 2005 by the dome projection, seen here in the research lab on its back. Six projectors divide up the round surface to give a single seamless image. With a maximum resolution of 3,000 times 3,000 pixels, much higher than traditional digital movie theaters can offer. The key to both the pillar poster and the dome is an innovative software which calibrates the film for the curved screen surface. But how can projections be screened on any type of surface whatsoever? Scientists at the Fraunhofer first lab use a wave-shaped screen. In general, screens can be of any shape or size. To avoid parts of the image covering others and shadow effects, a set of projectors is required here too. But before the presentation can take place, the team and team leader Ivo Halsen have first to set up and fine-tune the equipment. Our new automatic system makes the calibration of projections easy and exact in a way that's not possible with conventional systems. Here, the scientists are using two standard projectors, but it could be any number of projectors depending on the screen size and distance to it. The projectors only have to be roughly adjusted because the software takes care of fine calibration. Three standard computers are linked up by Ethernet to form a cluster. This is where all the data comes together. The heart of the operation is the server, which holds the video data and key geometric data. It's the server that ensures that the two other computers, the clients, run synchronously. Each of the clients controls a projector. By distorting the two projection images, the computers ensure that the pixels of the part images exactly match one another and blend at the interfaces to form a single, seamless whole. Once the projectors are lined up, the images appear on the undulating screen surface, only they're not yet joined up. A standard digital camera takes automatic test pictures and transmits them to the computers, whose software takes just a few seconds to compute how the projector images are to be placed on the wave screen, accurate to the very last millimeter, and calibrates the images within a few moments. If a projector slips, calibration must be done anew. And now the show can begin. An important part of the software is this show player. It runs parallel on the computers and ensures that single images run synchronously. It also manages fog and sound machines and can even combine other videos, texts, and sounds without any need to calculate an entire film. With just one mouse click, a single frame becomes a truly impressive projection. As a standalone solution or licensed software, the screen configurator is highly flexible and ideal for a wide range of uses, as its current use in Carl Zeiss planetariums demonstrates. In 2008, FIRST will be presenting the new projection technology in a dedicated 3D dome movie theater.